Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to share a couple tips or tricks that you can do to figure out how big that fish was that you just caught. If you don't happen to have a measuring board or a measuring tape or anything with you when you're on the water. Now, I recently just saw a post on our Facebook group where someone went out, caught a really nice snook, I believe it was, and they didn't have a way to measure it, and it was one of the biggest snook they've caught. And as fishermen, we all like to know how long that fish is, especially if it's a, a pretty big one. So there are a few things that you're going to have with you on hand at all times if you're fishing. One is your fishing rod, obviously, and the line that is on your rod. So with your fishing rod, what you can simply do is just lay the fish down and then starting from either the butt end or the tip of the rod, you can basically just lay the fish down along that rod and whatever guide that fish is closest to, just make note of it. If it's the fifth guide from the top or the sixth from the top, make note of that and then when you get home you can measure out what that actually is and you'll know how big that fish was that you just caught. Now also with the fishing line, another thing you can do is again lay that fish alongside your rod and you can take a piece of your leader or the braid, whatever it may be, and you can tie it to your fishing rod wherever the end of that fish uh, meets that fishing rod. So again, tie the line around your rod, make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't slip, and that'll give you an accurate measurement when you get home and you have access to a measuring tape. And then lastly, what else you can do with your fishing line is just simply cut a piece of your fishing line off of your uh, spool or your leader, whatever it may be, and just run it along the length of the fish. Cut it to the length of the fish. You can roll it up, put it in your pocket. When you get home, just measure the length of that line and you'll get a measurement of that fish. Now, to have to basically avoid any of that, what I do, and I always keep with me, and it's easy uh, to bring with you, is I keep this tailor's tape, which is basically uh, what they use when they're measuring, you know, your pant size, when you're at the tailor, uh, getting a custom suit or clothing, whatever it may be made. And what I like about this is it's nice and long. It goes up to 60 inches. I've had this one for years. I don't even remember where I got it from, but it's like a vinyl material so it's waterproof and it easily you can just scrunch it up put it in your pocket if you need to or roll it up nice and neatly and it's easy to store you know you don't have to carry a measuring stick with you or anything like that and it's waterproof unlike a tape measure that would be metal it could rust it could corrode so this can last a very long time and like i said i've had this for years it goes with me on my kayak uh, goes in my backpack if I'm out wade fishing or fishing from shore or in my pocket. Easy to store, keep with you, get an accurate measurement of those fish. Now I know this tip is pretty simple, but a lot of the times we need that constant reminder of what we can do. I know when we're out there on the water, things sort of slip our mind. We throw that fish back before we even think about it. So next time you're out on the water, you want to get a good measurement of a fish, keep these tips in mind. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments about this, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, if you have any additional tips on how you like to get a good accurate measurement of fish without having a measuring tape, obviously, or a measuring board or something like that with you, definitely let us know down below. Also, if you're interested in catching more inshore saltwater fish, guaranteed in less time, definitely be sure to check out our Salt Strong Insider Fishing Club, where you also have access to really good discounts on a lot of the gear that you're probably already out there buying and spending a ton of money on. So you can definitely get a steep discount and it basically pays for your membership. So definitely worth checking out. So thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you on the next video.